B from Scott Smith. And Smith he has been on the scene a number of years. The 2006 U.S. Championships and the four continents championships. Performing a free skate for Team USA, Scott Smith. But he's 24 years of age, trains in Boston from Sandy Springs, Maryland, originally. His best finish at a U.S. championship was fourth. That was back in 2003. Last year, a top five finish. So he would have been the second alternate for the Olympics. And he likes to bring that up because he's thinking positively about this <laughs> season with Matt Savoy in school, Weiss, Gable elsewhere. He could be part of the team of the world. had a rough time this summer with injuries. He's been spending a lot of time in physical therapy, and he's feeling a little stronger and working through it. Very nice opening, triple axle, double toe. That was intended to have been a quadruple Salkow. It ended up just being really a double. And that, uh, I think none of the guys this afternoon are really pulling off these jumps in the manner that they should be. Nice, nice triple axle. Looks like he's taking his time with each one of these elements, really focusing on technique. You mentioned the injuries. He had a back injury, a knee, a hamstring, finally getting over those. Comes from a family of educators, both of his parents, teachers, his older sister used to teach biology. And he coaches at a local rink in Boston, plans to continue that. Looks like he's relaxing a little bit more. He seems so tense and cautious in the first part of the program, but it did pay off. He did pull off a lot of triples. Now the well, circular footwork. Unlike Lysacek and guys like Weir, who are just trying to start their season off the right way, Scott Smith is trying to prove he belongs in this group and mm -hmm. deserves to be mentioned among those names. Mm -hmm. This is his chance. This is a new, long program for him from the motion picture in Romeo and Juliet. Kind of a modern version of, you of think Romeo so? and Juliet, <laughs> with the especially tattoos? with the tattoos. <laughs> Final 
combination spin. Very nice skate. Now, the reason he was so pleasant to watch and so enjoyable was that he didn't overdo the movements. He was not frantic. He wasn't overloading it with every Ladies arm position, every change of it. That will hurt him in points, ultimately, but it's a far more pleasant kind of quality of skating. I found him enjoyable to watch and very pleasant. And even though he may have been nervous to start the program, it was a relaxed performance throughout. Yes, yes. I'd like to see him express to the music a little bit more so that we relax. I, I was a little tense on all of the jumps, but he pulled them off. And this was the beginning of his program. It was really quite nice. Opening with this triple axle right there, three and a half revolutions in the air and a double toe. It just flowed right along and I think that set the tone for him, gave him some confidence. Yeah, and now he can really relax because uh, job well done. Way to start the season for Scott Smith, which he hopes ends up at the World Championships this season. He, along with Weir and Lysa Check, the American team, will back to check his marks after this message and a word from our ABC stations you're watching ESPN on ABC.